Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm coming to you with something a little bit different this time. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, a horse racing simulation game uh, called Starter's Orders. Uh, it's Starter's Orders number six, uh, the sixth iteration in the franchise. And um, yeah, I have been a, a fairly regular player of uh, Starter's Orders. Um, being a, having a background in bookmaking, um, it does kind of fit into uh, to what I like. I like horse racing. Um, so, yeah, I thought we'd take a look at this. And so, basically, this is I'll try and be as uh, basic as I can uh, for people who are not familiar with the uh, the series or with the uh, or with horse racing in general so this is the first screen that you load into as you can see this is the demo version it's available from the site um, which is uh, startersorders.com um, so you can download it. it's a week of racing a uh, selection of race courses uh, the full version available for 19.99 it's still in beta at the moment and I think it goes up to I think it's 24.99 when it comes out of beta. Also, great community on the website um, with the forums that are there and the developer interaction as well. Um, as I understand it, strategic designs and developer are pretty much a uh, one man uh, one man team, which is all the more impressive um, given how complex the simulation the uh, they can make. So let's see, let's take a, a little look at this. So this is the first uh, screen that you load into here. Uh, so you've got your options for screen sizes and a variety of uh, resolutions and full screen and windowed. Uh, game options, audio on or off, decimal odds instead of fractions, uh, meters instead of furlongs, um, and different ways of displaying weight. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, um, and there's, there's audio commentary in the game as well. Um, so yes, a variety of different uh, effects. Some anti-aliasing and draw distance and uh, texture details. Um, so yeah, plenty uh, plenty of options there. So let's uh, start a new game. Um, and we'll start in the UK. And in the full game you can do a combined flats and jump schedule. But we're for the moment just start on... Uh, with flats, um, so difficulty levels there easy, normal, and harder, and um, yeah, that changes the uh, the starting cash and the horses that you start with. So we will start on normal for now, and uh, and we will head into the game. Uh, so I do have experience, I say, in uh, the older starters orders. This is my very first time starting up the new one. So uh, this really is the ultimate first impressions video. <laughs> um, so I can see the main screen has not changed a great deal from the last version. Uh, everything is laid out fairly simply. Um, and these are the horses that we've started with. Um, although we can set our stable location now. And this is... Uh, this is new, so we can have our stables at Doncaster or Kempton. And uh, that's Doncaster. Okay. And I can see obviously there's uh, sort of subheadings up here. Uh, please set your stables by clicking a space on the map. You only set your stable location once. Stable is a pink icon. Oh, okay. So I can pretty much put it anywhere. So I'll put it... Um, <laughs> I will put it closest to where I live. So there we go. Central Scotland. Fantastic. Um, and so we can go into our stable here. And as you can see, there's a variety of different upgrades that we can purchase. 
uh, set of different staff levels and wages, feed quality. So this is um, pretty much the same as version five. Uh, so we'll rename our stables uh, the Bellatrix Yard, and uh, yeah, so a variety of different options here, transporters, uh, trailers, rails, quarantines, all weather, increased capacity. So uh, yeah, lots of different things there. And we can look at the horses that we have been given. So you start off with three. Um, and as you can see here, this one, uh, red by group two winner, uh, seven furlong, so sprint horse, and then a graph to show its, uh, its different rankings here as well. So we have different options as well. We can retire at studs, retire from the game, or just retire to the game pool, uh, which is all to do with uh, being able to breed horses across uh, different games to create a uh, sort of super horse for online play which is quite a, a good part of the community as well uh, and again blinkers visors nosebands and such and then if we go in here we can uh, we can see more details on the uh, the horse itself so that was our first horse and we also have uh, this one miler a um, bit older at four years old and then finally uh, a five-year-old uh, mile two by a group two winner as well so uh, yeah start off with these three horses um, they have a mail message this is new okay so we have to buy a transporter so let's uh, let's just buy a little trailer because we have no money there's our little horse trailer shows up on our uh, on our yard. Very nice. Um, that's grand. So we want to uh, enter our horses in a future race. So we've only got a week's time. Um, we don't want to book them anything too far ahead so that we can actually see some of these. Uh, their status here, green, indicating that they are ready to run. And uh, as you can see, we've got the uh, the first one prefers a race distance of seven furlongs. Or at least its breeding indicator is seven furlongs because of its uh, its parentage. So let's enter this in uh, this one here. Uh, so a maiden going, which is uh, for horses that have not won a race before. So we want to enter our horse in here uh, and okay so they've implemented a, a sort of charge for transporting costs as well that's uh, that's a nice touch and so we can select uh, a jockey as well uh, from this list um, so let's have uh, Frankie de Torre book him and then we want to set our next horse, uh, which is probably better over a mile. So we shall book that. And uh, there we go. This is zero to eighty-five handicap, which is based on the based on the ratings. We'll pop that in. And I like to stick with the same jockey. That might just be me. Um, Others may prefer that too. But. And uh, finally, one mile two. Um, yeah, so that should give us one each day. And we get the same jockey again. Okay, so then we've got these uh, sort of radio buttons up here. Uh, save, go to the race course for that day, which is that day's racing there. And skip today's racing and skip the day before the, we are due to run. So as it is, we don't have anything running today, so we can skip today's racing. And as you can see, it highlights in blue that we have uh, we have a horse running 
today. So we can go to the race course. Today's racing is from Kempton. The weather today is overcast and the going is slow. Race and, one is uh, a 10, Furlong 5, run a handicap. As you can see, we have the uh, the betting board here, along with uh, along with the runners and riders in the next race. And so you can bet on each of these with the, uh, the betting slip here. Um, and you can also go into um, here, and you can see the form, the sort of careers, uh, the colours. So there's the form, the riders, the trainers. Um, yeah, so. Pretty detailed uh, there, and to place a bet, you would just uh, just click on that. So we'll bet on Brocco Bank, and uh, let's put a thousand pounds. There we go. And we want to do that to win. Okay. So we're not going to watch this race, although you could. And as you can see, the bet that I've put on has changed the odds from 11 to 8 to evens. Um, and you can advance the betting on each of these. And you can see how the odds change in each of them. Um, and then the options up here, we can, uh, we can visit the paddock, which is down here. We can see how the... Uh, how they looked. We can see what the tipsters have to say. Now, I think in the full game there would be a selection of uh, tipsters in there. Uh, we can see the courses, uh, details about Kempton and uh, like what meetings are coming up, the records as well. We can see the jockeys, uh, which shows us, you know, what they've, uh, what weight they they are, um, whether they're retained, how much they cost. Um, horses, that's, I think, every horse in the game, uh, which for the demo would obviously be smaller. Form, and then we can skip race, uh, which we want to. And uh, we lost, as you can see, the results up here. Uh, but never mind. Never mind. Um, Race two is a ten. Furlong seven. Runner so you want to skip past this race. Race three is a five. And this race, this race, and here we have race um, five <coughs> eight. Long, ten. Our Run horse running. And as you can see, uh, there's a selection now of uh, well, the ability to talk to the jockey, and you can set preferred tactics, a variety of different things. Whether you think the horse will be best running at an even pace, racing handy, forcing the pace, um, and then individual instructions about when to challenge um so we're going to be in the uh, all blue silks and uh we're at 12 to 1 as we advance the betting we still sit at 12 to 1. um oh i've clicked on the world map there that's what i wanted paddock um and as you can see we are uh, we have no form going into this so Let's see how it goes. So we can click on uh, this icon down here and we can watch the race. Now this will be my first time watching the new 3D engine. Uh, that's a new innovation uh, for this year's Starters Orders, Starters Orders 6. Um, so this should be good. Let's go. Oh, this is... Uh, I don't know what these buttons do. There's no hover over to tell me. I don't know. Um, this is a fantastic little intro with all the different riders. And this go itself. Okay, so we have to push space. So what can we do here? And the early oh, we can zoom out. Or zoom in. Turning right and a variety of 
number three different levels from number six and number one what do you do oh wow jockey cap of our on our own horse that is oh and a straight on top down view that's pretty cool number three has a good so I'm just flicking through all these. Number six oh and a crowd oh that's cool I like that number two is making ground there we go so um now I've explored all of the uh, the visual options as you can see we are out um, number seven is last we'll be towards the back so we need to move to run. there we go the there's our horse number here number two cool morning disappearing out the back um, which is not unexpected uh, generally your starting horses are going to be fairly bad so, yeah. um, as you can see up in the top right hand corner um, there is uh, an indicator of how fast the lead horse is going how long is left so we're into the final half a furlong uh, sorry in the final two furlongs not half a furlong um, and there we go we finished third, which I think is actually pretty good for a starting horse in the first race. A nice replay feature as well. Yeah, that's how the uh, how the racing looks. Race six is a nine furlong seven runner selling race. And so we can just uh, skip the rest of today because we don't have anything else right. Um. So, in here you, uh, uh, not available in the demo, so in the training options you are, uh, if it's like the uh, previous starters orders game, you can set different training for your horses, uh, you can watch them go uh, out on the gallops, um, and just do what you can to get them fit and ready for race day. Um, Breeding, again, not available in the demo, but in the breeding you can uh, put your horses out to breed, uh, breed with one another and try and create uh, better, faster horses, which is almost certainly the best way to get uh, good horses. Uh, finance just lets you keep an eye on your, uh, on your finances. You can request a bank loan as well. Um, Field, you can see any horses you're sent out to grass, but there aren't any out there at the moment. Uh, transfer horses between games, uh, so you can move one horse into a different game. Um, apprentice, uh, presumably apprentices, uh, so you can hire and retain apprentice jockeys. Uh, just details of the different courses in the full game. Obviously, there would be a, a list of much bigger courses, but there's uh, Doncaster and Kempton Park. Um, you can also see all the different trainers that are in the game, the silks that they have, uh, who their retained jockeys are and retained apprentices as well. Uh, news keeps us up to date with the uh, news from within the game. Uh, the diary shows any uh, future meetings and whatnot coming up. Anti-post uh, means that we can place bets on uh, horses running in future uh, races. And, uh, and then obviously declarations, we can enter our horse in future so obviously not having a, a great deal of time with the game i can't tell you whether this is uh, going to be something that you would enjoy but if you are big into simulation games if you enjoy uh sort of micromanaging and uh and, and trying to build a sort of horse racing a dynasty almost you will very much enjoy this um this can take up is it's similar to sort of football manager this can take up an awful lot of your time um especially if you uh, sort of integrate with the community and uh, go onto the forums <clears throat> and they can um there yeah, you can take part in the online leagues and whatnot so really yeah um this could take up a great deal of your time. For the price that it is, $19.99, uh, you know, you're going to struggle to find better value. You could sink hundreds and hundreds of hours into a game like this. 
Um, I will uh, I will be buying it. I'll be buying the full version and uh, mainly because I see they've, they've put achievements in here as well. That's, that's very nice. Um, so yeah, um, you know, I'll be buying it. I'll be playing it. And uh, if it seems like the sort of thing, in 1999, even if you don't like it, it's not the greatest waste of money in the world. Uh, generally, these don't go on sale, so I wouldn't hold off looking for uh, a better deal. Um, as far as I remember from buying the previous starters orders, it will not go on sale. Um, so you're not going to get a better deal than 1999. Uh, support your, uh, your indie developers as well, especially for the amount of work and the years and years of work that have, have gone into it. Um, I know I'll be buying it. Um, and whether you would uh, you would buy it as well is up to you. But I would certainly recommend it if horse racing is your thing. If management simulations are your thing, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, so take a look. Uh, startersorders.co.uk um, I think. <laughs> um, no, sorry. Startersorders.com um, and you can go to the site, uh, you could download the demo, uh, have a play around in the, the seven day demo, see what you think of it, and uh, and you can purchase from there. Uh, so I hope you um, found this useful. I hope that you will try it out and see how you get on. Um, so thank you for joining us, and I will see you next time.